Hello kids. In the last video, we learned about weight and its units. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju's mother asked him to buy 1450 grams of paneer and 2 grams of saffron from Appu's shop. Raju kept playing on the way and finally reached Appu's shop. I want 2 grams of paneer and 1450 grams of saffron. Raju told Appu. Appu laughed. <laughs> You mean 1450 grams of paneer and 2 grams of saffron? Raju could not understand anything. Appu then placed 2 grams of paneer on a weighing scale and said to Raju, Look Raju, will your mother be able to make any dish using it? No, uh, uh, looks like I swapped the units of these two items. Now Raju read on the board on Appu's shop. Paneer 200 rupees kilogram. Oh no, mother had asked me to bring 1450 grams of paneer. How many kilograms would that be? Children, can you tell how many kilograms will be equal to 1450 grams 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram so to find out how many kilograms is equal to 1450 grams we only have to divide 1450 by 1000 we can divide 1450 by 1000 in this way now it is very easy. Whatever number is written here on top is in kilogram and the remaining number are the remaining grams. This means 1450 grams is 1 kilogram and 450 grams. Children, remember that Whenever we have to express the number written in a small unit to a larger unit, we use the process of division. Okay, I have to buy 1 kilogram and 450 grams of paneer. Now, the cost of saffron is written in milligrams here. So, how many milligrams will be equal to 2 grams of saffron? Children, can you help Raju find an answer to this question? If you wish, you can stop the video and think of the answer. 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. So, to convert 2 grams to milligrams, we multiply 2 by 1000. In this way, 2 grams of saffron is equal to 2000 milligrams. Children, remember, whenever we have to express a larger unit in a smaller unit, then we will use the process of multiplication. Raju bought paneer and saffron from Appu and returned home. Children, in this video, we learned about weight and its units through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this.